what seems to have evolved is something more flexible, more organic. It seems to work well for, for people with busy, busy lives, um, family demands. It seems to be more a place where people can come and work and, and I hope feel effective, have an experience of growing things, of, of what makes that happen, of, wh of what it is to, to plant something and watch it grow. So it's a community effort and it brings people together. It gives them a very healthy uh, sort of leisure thing to do, but it also gives them food, good, uh, healthy food. In the garden, we grow um, the, the usual sort of traditional things that people grow in this area with the limits of climate, etc. Also includes some, some varieties, some plants that um, may have been part of the culture of people who come to the garden. Whoever comes, they work. Uh, we share the work and then we share the produce. Sister Catherine started the garden there at uh, Vineyard Street precisely to encourage and help and inspire people round about, people who perhaps hadn't had an opportunity to do it. La primera vez que venimos, que estaba una muchacha de, de las amas, se llama Leticia, y ella nos invitó a plantar papas en la parte de atrás. Y las camas de, de para, del jardín no estaban. Entonces venimos y limpiamos ahí atrás y, y no, ya no, ni plantamos las papas. <ríe> y después poco a poco ellos fueron, las amas fueron haciendo las camas, primero unas, los botes, hasta que fue creciendo más. And it was actually Hector, um, Guadalupe's son, I believe, who came up with some news to be the seeds of life, which is really sweet. Se llama semillas de vida porque las frutas y todo y las, los vegetales dan vida a nosotros. El jardín ayuda al mundo porque el jardín lo da la fruta, la verdura, lo da las plantas para las mariposas, para los bees. Y por eso tenemos que tener la comunidad, el mundo limpio. They're learning care and respect for the environment and for other creatures. Introduced to the idea that these little creatures, who seem very disposable, are actually working hard to make good dirt, healthy soil, that then we can add to the beds. To me, that's part of what we're doing, is healing the earth. And it's important, I think, to be in touch with the earth. The earth is the basis of everything. I mean, we come from the earth and we return to the earth. Whereas a garden is a very settling thing. You feel, you feel somehow relaxed. And you, you might feel prayerful. Not everyone does, but you might feel prayerful. I can pray much better in the garden than in a chapel. <laughs> Chapels are nice too. Niños están involucrando en algo bueno. A veces entre semana también pueden venir cuando hay tiempo, y entonces ellos no andan en las calles aprendiendo malas cosas. Yeah, it's become sort of a just a beautiful oasis in the middle of the city. Yo crecí en Worcester. Yo he vivido en una área muy poco loca. <laughs> cosas como el jardín y cosas que mi mamá me metía me ha ayudado a um, no estar en, en esas cosas y creo que el jardín sí es como un símbolo que ha madurado. Este es, es bien, es muy divertido en unas partes y a veces no tan divertido. Yo digo que, es, que está bien porque aquí hay mucha gente buena que ayuda a otra gente. To have the experience of a few people making a difference in the environment, in the, in, in the place where they are. These kids have seen this place bloom in a way. 
um, be transformed. What is the connection between food and community? Um, I think when I eat your food, I know something about you. That growing, preparing, sharing food um, is a way of sharing culture, is a way of, again, it's, it's like that idea of mutuality, of being one. You sit at a table together and share food. It's like the Eucharist. You know, it's like, it's like mass. It's a way of really getting to know each other. I think I've made some, some good friends here over the years. The people that um, we go to church with, but we don't usually see at church very much. Mm -hmm. Members of the Spanish community who go to different mass and speak a different language. And I think you guys have both made friends here. And so now when, yeah. when we see them at church, it's, it's a different experience for them because they feel close to them because of being here. You know, it's sort of an offshoot of the church community as well. And people, you know, very different backgrounds, very different cultures, ways of being, ways of relating, um, come together here with a common cause, be it planting or harvesting or playing soccer, you know, in the yard. And all of a sudden, people are finding ways of speaking and relating to one another. So the garden just herself becomes this sort of bridge that reaches across languages and cultures. El jardín se significa para mí como una segunda casa donde podemos plantar, podemos pasar tiempo, por ejemplo, con mis hijos, pero ya cada cada uno en su trabajo individual es algo muy bonito. Thank God, and we bless, we bless the land, and it's a community thing, and we are adults, but also children, we are Catholics, but also non-Catholics. The garden is a meeting place, I think with God, in God's creation.